Well, uh, you know, kind of recap in the week, uh, practice-wise, um, you know, Tuesday, I'll be honest with you, was not great. Um, you know, it wasn't horrible, but it just it wasn't great. And I think some of that had to do probably, you know, coming, over, coming off of an emotional game and, you know, one that, you know, obviously means a lot, not only to our players, but to a lot of people. And uh, probably like your guys' columns, I'm guessing, on Tuesday went great because all the candy you ate. And so we had to recover from Halloween, I think, a little bit. And I think uh, the message was sent. Uh, the leaders took care of it, and we were much better today. I uh, liked our focus. I thought we did a really good job um, in our third down and, and uh, our low red today, um, which you know, we need to continue to excel at to be success successful. So um, on the injury front, um, C.J. Warden went down today with an ankle. Um, you know, Jared practiced, um, still hobbled, but, you know, practiced. I thought did some good things. Jordan Sherrod practiced, which was good to see. Uh, Brian Cox really went. Um, I was really proud to see the way he practiced all week. Um, it was good to see. Uh, but, 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 uh, that's really it. Um, I thought... Uh, you know, some guys got some soreness out early in the week and bounced around pretty good today. Um, this is one of those deals where I think the unknown for the Gators having not played there, um, you know, our guys understand that in the environment that they're going into. A group of guys have got a bunch of pride, uh, obviously a bunch of Florida guys there that uh, are going to do everything they can to uh, come out and, and uh, show us what it's all about. And uh, and yet, ultimately, it's never about the opponent. It's about us taking care of what we can control, and, and that's our ability to uh, go out and play with emotion and uh, go out and play with some discipline. Uh, questions? Yes, sir. Hunter. <clears throat> Coach Mick, we have the number one pass offense. They, I mean, sorry, pass defense. And they had the number three pass offense. So is the key going to be obviously getting Allen off his mark this week? Yeah. You know, we, we talked a little bit in each week. Um, I really like the way this guy plays the game and plays in their system. They do a great job of disguising and running like plays, making the dots the same. He's very comfortable and he knows timing wise when to get it out of his hand. It's fun to watch. With that, it's our responsibility, and again, it isn't, it isn't the sack numbers. It's making sure that when they do throw, maybe off a little rhythm, you know, having to just adjust a little bit, that hopefully takes some of the accuracy off the ball. And, um, you know, we've got to be able to do that. They can pass protect up front. They got some really good old linemen, some big guys. Um, you know, skipper kid, big left tackle. Uh, he's a Colorado guy that we've known about when we first got to Colorado State, and that, that guy's uh, going to make a bunch of money, you know, as it kind of time bears out. But, uh, you know, we've got our work cut out for us up front. And here's a good thing. We've got some young guys that are hungry. And with those hung the, the, the hunger of those young guys, we've got some older guys playing at a pretty high level. Sorry. Can you, excuse me, can you, uh, I know it's one game at a time, but do you discuss the big picture at all? Well, you know, here's what, here's basically, you know, in, in terms of that, you know, the big picture is, you know, we've got to take care of business and there's no guarantees in life. Um, so, you know, are they aware of, you know, we don't rely on anybody else, I guess. You know, it's, it's something that, yeah, we talk about. Um, and yet, it's all for naught if you don't go take care of the now. And, you know, we'll see how we'll come out Saturday. I mean, I, I don't know. Every Saturday, it's, it's a brand new event. Um, I, I like where our guys are at as far as, um, you know, taking care of business. I, I think... <coughs> You know, that second half of that one ball game down in Knoxville, I, I'm telling you, it, it was an eye-opener for some guys. And, um, you know, to, to make you realize that 
you know, you got to play with energy every single snap, and uh, you can't let the past affect the future. And 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 we'll see what we learn. Do you have any rules about like looking at scenarios, standings, watching college football rankings, anything like that? No, I can't control. I mean, would you I, even that, you have you ever? Them, did you dissuade them? From? Here, here's the one thing. I, we had, I don't know when it was, we read uh, Orwell's 1984 book. You know, I, I don't have, we don't have thought police, <laughs> you know. So, um, I mean, it's, it's human nature. So, I mean, God, if you haven't figured it out by now, I mean, I talk about it just because it's, I know it's on their minds. And yet the important thing is just trying to bring them back to, what's going to help you be successful, not only in this game, but successful down the road. And so, you know, you, you, you keep teaching and, you know, hope they get it. Jack? And playing off the big picture and what this game can do for games down the road, you said that this could be a defining moment for your team. How, how important is it to go on the road and have success in a game like this with the other ones coming up? Well, it, it, here's a... Doesn't matter where you play in this league, the environments are awesome. I mean, that's why it is the SEC. And uh, to be considered and be relevant, you've got to be able to go do that on someone else's turf. And you got to go play well. Uh, you can't let the things that are going to happen to you on the road affect your performance. And uh, you know, I don't know how we're going to react. You know, we've, we've got a great mix. We've got so many young guys who I think are infectious with some of the older guys. You know, they're, they're kind of, they kind of get that energy. And, and uh, you know, the thing you do when you play on a road is you play off the fact everybody hates you. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of fun, you know? I mean, and the louder the stadium gets, the more excited you should get. Um, now, and we'll, we'll see what happens Saturday. And then what was it like to have Kronk right back this week, and, and what did he say when he decided to return? Well, I mean, he'd been dinged up and things were going his way. You know, like we said, he, we're here for him. We'll do anything for him. So. Do you anticipate him traveling this week? Yeah. Like he's not injured. So. You guys all set?